is today um, repasting the heat sink. Well, actually, I'm doing a experiment. The IC graphite thermal pad, which is huge thermal performance over normal cheap pads. So yes, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, this is the 30 by 30 millimeter pad, which was 15 on Amazon, I think I paid, and 40 by 40 for 20. The first thing first, I've already taken it apart, but static wristband, use it. Always wear protection. Do not do anything that could fry it. I've done that before. I've learned never to do that again. You can see there's still some white uh, thermal paste in between. That's K5 Pro thermal paste, which is not conductive. I'm leaving it in there because there's a ton of tiny resistors and I do not want to accidentally damage anything while scraping. You can see the little pad. It feels like foam. Like very, very thin insulating foam. It's obviously a lot bigger and since this is electrically conductive, we have to be careful. I'll need to cut this down to size and I forgot to bring a pair of scissors. Wait, I thought I brought a pair of scissors. Duh, they're right in front of me. Okay, let me just pause this since I don't have much space on my phone and I'll be back in a bit once I trim this down. Okay, we're back and I've trimmed down a small piece, slightly oversized. This is slippery. Um, I'm going to put a little dab of the K5 Pro above. Which should prevent it from moving. Oh, this is... I may have wanted to cut it slightly larger. But that should be... Now this I already cleaned off. Let me just do one last wipe. I gotta set this down straight on it. Shazam. I moved it. It didn't move. Okay, got my screwdriver. Now I need screws. Now we need a long one for the top right corner, or I could just do the other side. Three. There's the long screw. Number four. Long one goes all the way through the board. Okay, snug down opposite corners. And let me. Okay, no, I don't see any light. It hasn't shifted out of place. Let me just check through this side. Looks like we're good. So, put it back together. You got the fan, obviously. Fan uses larger screws than most of those on the board. Okay, 
put the battery in place. You got to be very careful. This is very easy to make sparks fly if you put it in the wrong place. I've learned from experience. Don't copy me. Here you go. Create a grid. Okay, and these screws are tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. Not very hard to start. Get it started. Other screw. Okay, tight and tight. Okay, I believe that is everything so grab the case make sure all those are in place and work our way around I should have started the rear. And you've got the SSD, which is kind of stuck on. Let me pause so I don't run out of space. I'll be back once I'm ready to turn it on and do a benchmark. Okay, we should be good to go. Oh man, I really need to clear my screen. <laughs> well, Oh, bet. Let me check the battery connection. And we are back in business. I don't think I fully see this people, but now... Better. Okay, and... Oops. Now we're back to benchmarking, now this time with the IC Graphite tra heat transferring pad installed. Uh, before I started loading apps and getting stuff, I was idling at 42 Celsius, which before I don't think I've ever dropped below 50, I'm not positive on that. I'll be emulating my last, uh, my original benchmarking test at 12 watts, 9 watts, 7 watts, 5 watts, and 3 watts, and comparing to that time. Um, so yeah, same as before, minus 60 undervolted, so... The Unigen heaven benchmark, and away we go. This will be like last time, where I pause since the Benchmark takes like five minutes to run. I'll pause it, let it run, and then come back. So yes, twelve watt, twelve watt benchmark beginning. Be back in a bit, and we're back. Twelve watt finished, and we're at score eleven sixty. Let's. We were ex. Let me skip to five minute. Uh, we were actually bouncing off thermal th before it was solid bought line we were a solid 90 now we've been bouncing off huh. so we are still thermal throttling but that is 
promising. So what's current temperature? 70, 64, okay. I'll let that drop. Let's go down to nine watts. Apply. Sixty. Drop down to 62. Benchmark's running in the background, so it's not going to go all the way down. So now, let me just double check. Yeah. 9 watt benchmark beginning. Back in a bit. And we're back. The 9 watt test is done, and oh my. Beat the old score by almost 80 points. Uh. Damn. Oops. The highest one is 88 Celsius, lowest was around 82. And before we were a solid 90. So, we didn't thermal throttle that time. And we beat the old 12 watt score. Oh, this is impressive so far. So, 7 watts. Let's see, we're down to 66 Celsius. Close. Okay, 7 watts beginning, and once again, back in a bit. Okay, 7 watt test is finished. Score is 962. Probably should be writing down the FPS, but it's a bit late for that. Let's see in the past five minutes. 76 is where it sits. And before we were at 83 Celsius, so. That's okay. That's temperatures dropped. So, yes, five watt test is beginning. Same old, same old, back in a bit. Five watt test is finished. You can see the score 755. Slightly lower than my original test, but variations happen. Uh, 67 Celsius is what it seems to be mostly. And really, there's no point in doing three watt test because I did not uh, track the temperatures for that test. So there's no point in doing the score. That's low enough temperature. It's going to not throttle anyways. So, yeah. Let's close. Alt F4. And let's see. This is my, yeah, that's supposed to be a zero. Left side's my original benchmarking video I did, and the right is what I did now after replacing the graphite. As you can see, a 90, 91 uh, point increase at 12 watts, and before what I was bouncing off and throttling hard, this time I was still throttling, but I was bouncing between 85 to 90. There's an 80 point difference at 9 watts, and before, when I was throttling hard, I never, I never reached 90 Celsius. I was anywhere between 82 to 88. 7 watts, the score was the same, but there was a 6 Celsius difference. And I can't recall offhand, but 7 Celsius is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so that is a fairly large difference. And then a 5 watt test, 
the score was actually slightly lower, which I guess sometimes can happen. I don't know how the benchmark counts, but the temperature was one Celsius lower. So I'd say for me, this was a huge improvement. I will say that, uh, obvious disclaimer, like I believe I've said before, it's graphite. And graphite is not only thermally conductive, it's also electrically conductive. If that pad slips while it's on and it touches components inside, you are going to brick your device. And that is not a warranty thing GPD will cover. And also, as I said, also said before, my prototype has a slightly different heat sink than others. Uh, for the production machines, they, inc they modified the tooling to increase the stamp uh, uh, because there was a very large gap between the CPU and the heatsink. I actually, uh, to fill that gap, I had three 10,000 uh, copper shims stacked on top of each other that I installed using low temp solder. That uh, production machines are different. I don't know if others will get the same results as I did. But yeah, you can see, obviously, I've seen at max temperature, I've seen a uh, in performance increase and a temperature drop. So, so far, I'd say this actually was worth it for me. So that, I guess that concludes these tests. Thanks for watching, and if anyone else does this, I'd love to see some benchmarks from them as well, before and after. So that's all. Thank you and goodbye.